Hey, welcome. My name is Kurt. I'm with Ballistics, and today we're going to talk about zeroing your rifle and the importance of actually getting a true zero. So let's take a quick look here at this target that I've got and look at some of the different impacts that we have and sort of dive into this. So looking at this target here, if we look at the number one spot, we've got quite a big group here. Pretty big spread. But if we were actually to take the average of this, I'm actually going to be hitting right here on an average, which certainly would not be in the bullseye. Coming over here to number two shot, I'm certainly low right over here. But let's come down here to number three, and you can see that it's actually pretty much dead center in the bullseye. Looking over here at number four, we are clearly in the low left area. And then right here in dead center, the fifth shot, we're in the red, but we're also low left. The idea here is to try to get your scope dialed in with your loads dialed in to where everything is as dead center as you can make it. So as you can see, there's, you know, there's close to bullseye and then there's bullseye. But maybe you have a rifle that doesn't shoot great and the pattern's a little bit big. So you kind of need to find that average of where, where the average center really is in that group. Now the other thing is, a lot of ranges here, at least in North America, uh, are at, at 100 yards, but they're not always at 100 yards. It's been my experience that some are at like 98 yards, some might be 105 yards. You also want to account for that. You can go into the app and you can, you know, put it in, put, put in the actual distance, whether you measure it off with a tape or a, get a good range finder, measure that off, so that you know exactly if you're shooting at 98 yards, put that in, or 105 meters, Make sure you, you account for all that stuff because it's really going to make a difference the further out that you start to shoot. So another thing is most people actually sight in at 100 yards, but maybe you shoot competitions that are a stagnant 200 yards or 500 yards. Maybe it makes more sense to actually sight in at that distance. So bottom line, I guess, is just do what makes sense. And, you know, sighting in at 100 also makes for a lot simpler math in your head rather than getting out a calculator. If you were sighted in at, you know, 225 yard or weird uh, intervals of distance, which I've seen before, um, it makes doing math in your head a whole lot harder. So anyways, I hope this helps and um, stay tuned. We have a lot more videos coming up for you. So uh, we'll see you guys soon.